Hello everyone, Shinto being here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode. And this week is a holiday week here in Combat Cards. They're giving away some packs of cards and stuff each day of the week leading up to Christmas. And we have a special campaign where they've debuted a new modifier. It's a new type of modifier unlike anything they've ever done before. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's called Battle Scars and cards that are destroyed can no longer be used in the campaign at all. So. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, uh, of course, the first few battles are quite easy, uh, but I lost my first bodyguard at level 8. Uh, you can see here is the one that's X'd out, so I have to replace that before deploying into the next battle. So it definitely makes for some interesting strategic decisions, and it'll be fun as we as we go on and progress throughout the campaign to see uh, what happens. You know, much of my collection, I found, is pretty obsolete. I don't really use most of these cards. Uh, but this campaign, I think, is going to force me to use cards that I normally would never include in any of my decks. So looking forward to seeing how that goes. Of course, this is not the most fair for beginning players who have very small collection and a very small pool of cards. I think they will not be able to progress as far in this campaign, for sure. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think and how it goes. We're still very early, so... Um, I do want to do a video later on in the campaign just to see how much of my collection gets destroyed and what kind of a composition I'm forced to use in the later stages of the campaign. But for now we're just going to play one match here and I do have to swap out some cards here so I think I'm going to take out Alea and Valerian of course I'm going to take out this uh, Battle Sister maybe go for some more ranged units um, let's see maybe I'll just throw these guys in and not really too worried about uh, you know what happens at this point. Morven Vol is quite good, though, I think. she She's good at protecting your units, right? With the Holy Aegis, reduces the damage from the first three attacks that your units suffer by 30%, so you just will lose less units overall. Greyfax, of course, is even better, but, uh, you know, Greyfax is kind of OP, so I want to go... You know, I want to try something a little different. We're up against the Eldari, led by the Drukari Warlord, Rikarth, and this is level 9... I notice they do, are running a lot of Psykers, and I have no Psykers in my deck at the moment. We'll see if we can get through this battle without losing any units. It's not really too difficult if you use like really strong bodyguards, but uh, because I'm going for a keyword deck, uh, I do have to include some cheaper bodyguards in here. So let's, let's just throw this guy over there. And then... I haven't used Sly Marbo in ages either, but I do have them at level 9. Oh, they got Target Acquired! I was waiting for when that would show up. This is the first time I've seen it here. Now, Target Acquired is going to guarantee that that card is going to take a lot of damage, so I think I might just throw these guys in here. I don't really care about losing them, so I'll just throw them in the middle lane, and they're the ones that will get hit. I don't know if they're actually going to die, though, because, again, we're still very early, and they're not dealing a huge amount of damage. Again, the damage is getting reduced as well, but keeping that alive for the entirety of the match is going to be difficult, if not impossible. We are going ranged here, 212 total damage. Alright, and they are healing every time anything dies. So, the Rattling Twins are taking all three attacks, so now all stacks of the uh, protection from the Holy Aegis are gone. And they've got Drazhar in the middle lane. But they might just keep going psychic. So yeah, the twins are gonna survive for now. Debuffing my melee. Stone Tooth Harker, the Berserker. All right, go with a ranged attack, and we will take down the Archon. So are they just gonna keep going psychic, or are they gonna switch over to a melee attack when uh, Rakarth deploys? I don't know, because Stone Tooth, I mean, he already does 40 melee, so he has enough to take out the uh, the Farseer over there. I'm not sure if the AI isn't going to go melee until that Farseer is dead. Yeah, sure enough, they're just going Psychic. But we will destroy it next turn, which means I th I'm pretty sure... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Twins are going to die to Rakarth, so... It looks like we will lose one unit in this battle. So we'll no longer be able to use those guys in subsequent, su subsequent matches. It's really an interesting concept. I'm wondering if they're going to do this more, you know, in just regular campaigns, or in other game modes even. 
I mean, I don't see how it could work in like in ranked or anything, but uh, yeah, it's, it definitely opens up some new possibilities. Sly Marbo with the double trait there. He's got outflank in addition to fear. I used to use that guy so much when I was uh, just starting out. He was like really good for his cost, but then he just... In the late game, he's not that great at all. Uh, but with Inspiring Presence, he does a little bit of damage. Alright, we'll finish off Rikarth here. End the game. And... And yeah. It, oh, it actually shows us which uh, cards of ours got destroyed that match. That's, that's nice. So those guys are no longer available. Do like this uh, new card we're getting here. We've got a couple new cards in the game. The Death Core Comms Specialist with Scout. Pretty useful card for the Servants of the Imperfection. In the shop we also have a few new cards, but uh, they are do require you to spend money. We've got the Triumph of St. Catherine, which has Inspiring Presence and Shield. It's a legendary with a very low attack power. Uh, 39 points, so it's not quite big game, but uh, not really a very good card. I don't think. And then we also have this one, which this looks more useful. Definitely good with Yarick, I think. It's a ordnance team with, uh, yeah, a whole lot of ranged firepower as you upgrade it. It's a big game hunter. So, yeah, two new cards there. Uh, but, yeah, they, they probably won't be in the general pool for quite some time. Uh, there's also a new, nice new wintry snowy theme, which is not available on all devices. I can't uh, update it on this device quite yet, but it is actually available on my phone. So, yeah, if you do update the game to the latest patch, you might see that. Uh, looks quite good. But, yeah, let me know what kind of composition you're using in this campaign and how it's going for you. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.